everyone. Welcome back. All right. So today we are talking all about the women's suffrage movement in the 1910s, around 1919, 1920. And we are going to be able to do something that those women before then were not able to do, and that is to vote. So today, as we continue talking about voting, we are going to make our own ballot box. And a ballot box is where you go when you go to vote. So adults that are US citizens that are 18 or older can go to vote. And what they do is they fill out their voting sheet of who they would like to elect to certain positions. And then they put their sheet in a ballot box type thing. Sometimes it's online now, but a long time ago they would have ballot boxes. So today we're going to be able to make our ballot box. And we need to do that, a box, some paper to cover it with. I got some big construction paper. We need scissors, we need some tape, and we need some crayons. And we are gonna be able to use this later in our activity when we actually do our very own voting. All right, so I have my chew box here, regular chew box. I already covered the bottom with paper. I just had to kind of wrap it up and just use some tape to do that. And then for my top part, what I did first is I cut a hole in the top so that we can put our ballots in there. And now I just need to cover the top. So let's see. I'm going to take one piece of my big construction paper. You can also use the smaller construction paper too. I just thought the bigger stuff would be helpful for me today. All right. So since I already cut this hole, we're going to have to cut it out again then in the paper. But for now, let's use our tape and let's kind of wrap it up. So we'll wrap one side first. Tape there. Make sure I have room on that side too. There we go. Tape. The other side. Put some tape. There we go. Alright, now I'm gonna have to fold it a little bit. Let's fold, holding the corners kind of in, kind of like a Christmas present, any kind of present, birthday present. All right, and I'll fold this up, and I might need two pieces of tape for this one. There's one side. Very nice. Let's do the other side. Fold it again. Little crease. Fold it in again. Little crease. And let's fold this up. This side left too. We need to cut a hole right here where I have my hole in the cardboard. So I'm just going to take my scissors and be very careful as I go in. Cut first. And then cut out that hole. decorate it a little bit. So I'm going to choose my colors. I'm making guess what I'm going to choose. Blue and red. So those are the colors of the United States flag. And so I think we should use them to color our box. Now first of all I think I should write on it what it is. Um, I think maybe I could write like ballot box or um, something like that but I think I'm going to write vote here. V-O-T-E-H-E-R-E. -E -E. Let's 
in big letters so people know. Vote. Let's add some red into that. Cool. Vote here. I might put some decorations on this as well, just to make it look fancier, a little more exciting. You can use stickers if you wanted to, that would be cool. to actually cast our votes. All right, so come back to our activity later today and we'll be able to vote on something. All right, guys, see ya. Have fun.